Okay guys, this is the update to the video that I posted earlier where I mounted a Sony action camera to a DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus. Now the problem that I had before was the camera would start vibrating and shaking uh, violently and uh, I fixed that issue. So previously I was using these mounts right here these GoPro mounts to mount the Sony. So I had this arm basically connected and it was plugged in up here and the Sony was connected down here. Okay, and so what would happen was it would just start flapping. So to get around that, I'm using a low profile arm. So let me uh, take this off here. Okay, so before this one was mounted to a plate like this, which, as you can see right here, I have a plate still on there. Okay, oops, I dropped it. So there's the plate mounted with 3M tape. Okay, and basically you slide these connect these uh, arms here into that plate. Okay, so basically this is what the original setup looked like. Okay, and now what I have is a low profile adapter okay see how this one's long and curved and this one is not okay but what was happening was vibration was traveling down this arm and all the weak points on the arm just started making it gyrate okay you don't want that what I did was I installed this from the from the center. So instead of plugging it in where this uh, this mount point is sitting out, so I don't plug it in from this direction here. I don't plug it in like that. I'm going to plug it in from the inside to where the camera is facing or is you know is mounted towards the center more. And I'm going to put it. I'll show you exactly how that's mounted. I wanted to show you the carbon fiber plates. So I have two of these, one on each side of the Phantom. Okay. And let me flip it over here. There's the mount. The zip tie here, it's just a comfy, uh, you know, if the tape comes undone, I won't lose the camera. See how loose it is? So it's not going to. It's very loose, so it doesn't uh, transfer any vibrations. Okay. Now I'm going to put the camera on and show you. Oh, wait, wait. Let me show you one more thing. The camera here. I bought this adapter, this GoPro adapter for the camera. Okay. So that I can mount it to GoPro uh, accessories. This is vital to this whole setup. Okay, and I have it to where the bracket is facing back. And I'm going to show you how I... So I threw it on like this. And, 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 and while it's loose, I just let the camera hang and find its natural center point for gravity. Okay? It's not even tightened right now. And that gives you enough clearance on the side of the arm, sort of the landing gear, to where the pictures uh, won't be obscured. Okay? All right, now I'm going to tighten it up and just give you a little bit of uh, better view. Okay, now that I have this camera mounted on here, you can see that its center of gravity is basically just behind the landing gear strut, okay? It's right here. So it's more towards the center of the quadcopter. So you're not going to get a lot of that vibration from it sitting too far out here and flopping up and down okay so this is good enough for taking photos while you're flying uh, using GPS mode or GPS waypoint mode and but video is still you're gonna get jello because there's no you know there's no rubberized uh, grommets or anything between the tape and the mount plate here so it's not great for video because you still get the jello effect however photos are Photos are perfect, okay? So just put it on time lapse 
let it go and you can take video with the front camera which is right here front video and photos with that and then get side video from this so when you're passing your target or flying around your target you're going to get some great shots alright I also have a Phantom 2 with a GoPro Black Hero 3 edition which uh, I'll talk a little bit more about that later but right now this is how to modify and put a side camera on your quadcopter